Our next discussion is on sinking funds. Let's discuss sinking, sinking funds by reading through this problem. You will notice there, there's a lot of information given in this problem. A small business purchases a photocopy machine for 200,000 Rand. Remember, that is the purchase price, the 200,000 Rand. The photocopy machine depreciates, and you will remember we've, we spoke about depreciation before, in value at 20% per annum on a reducing balance. The small business wants to buy a new machine in five years' time. So they already plan for a new machine in five years. Remember this machine? They just bought it now. But they plan to replace it in five years' time. A new machine will cost much more in the future. That is now after five years. And its cost will escalate at 16% per annum effective. So what this means is whatever this machine cost originally, the 200,000, in five years' time, that new machine will, be, will cost much more. And it will escalate from this 200,000 by 16%. The old machine will be sold at scrap value after five years. That very first machine now, the 200,000 rand machine. A sinking fund is set up immediately in order to save up for the new machine. Because you will agree with me, there's going to be a shortfall. If they sell that old machine, which depreciates, and the new machine increased in price, they will, they will need money. So they're going to set up a sinking fund. Now, this word sinking fund is just an interesting word for this specific purpose. So it is a future value annuity. But future value annuity is something we can use for anything. But when we set up a fund to, to replace a car or a truck or a photocopy machine, then we refer to it as a sinking fund. And this sinking fund is set up immediately in order to save up for the new machine. The proceeds from the sale of the old machine will be used together with the sinking fund to buy the new, the new machine. The small business will pay equal monthly payments into the sinking fund and the interest earned is 18% per annum compounded monthly. The first payment will be made immediately, and the last payment will be made at the end of the five-year period. Now, I, that is a lot of information to, to consume here. Let's re read the first question, and let's just focus on this question and not on everything given to us. In the first question, find the scrap value of the old machine. So what I want you to take note now is we're only going to focus on this very first machine. This old machine was bought at a price of 200,000. It depreciates in value of 20% per annum reducing balance. And then the small business want to sell it after the five, five years. You can see the old machine will be sold. It's at scrap value after five years. So the duration is five years. So how do I find the scrap value of this machine? I need to apply compound depreciation, or what we also refer to as the reducing balance. Let's calculate this one. We want to calculate now the scrap value of this photocopy machine. The original price of this machine, 200,000. You remember that was given to us. It was also given to us that the small business want to sell this machine after five years at scrap value. So my N will be five years because this is yearly. Ne? And then the interest rate or the rate of depreciation is 20% per annum. Remember that depreciation is always yearly. Now you will remember we discussed it before. The formula for depreciation, one, A equal to P, 1 minus I to the N. It's got the minus in because it depreciates. So be careful when you substitute. Many people get confused because of the 200,000. They think of that is a big amount and that they want to put into A. It doesn't work that way. It works the opposite as compound interest. In depreciation, P is the bigger amount. A, the 
lesser amount because it's a depreciation. Something is worth 200,000 now will be worth less in five years' time. And that is what we want to calculate. This in a sinking fund is called the scrap value of this machine. Or if it's a truck or whatever, or a computer in, in, in a business, they, they, the, all these uh, uh, machines that companies use or vehicles depreciates over a period in time. Of, and then we want that scrap value of these machines. So let's substitute. A, of course, is what we are looking for. P, the 200,000. 1 minus my I, 20%. So divided by 100, 0, 0,2. And the exponent of 5, N is 5. You can see I didn't divide by 12 because it's not monthly, it's yearly. That number of years. And now we take our calculators and we calculate the scrap value. So let's quickly do it. It's a very easy calculation. It's 200,000 times by 1 minus 0 0.2, close the bracket, raise it to the exponent of 5, equal, and my answer is 655365. Comma zero. So it works out exactly to this answer, no decimals. Very important to take note. If this answer worked out to decimals, don't round off yet because we're going to use this answer later. In this particular problem, it worked out very nicely to a very nice round answer of 65,000 Rand. That is the scrap value of this machine. Let's now look at the B part. 